So um, to make semo, we we'll actually need to save our semo vita against particles and any unwanted um, content. So to make your semo vita, you need a sizable quantity of semo. You need um, you need a pot, of course, with hot water and a source of heat. You need cold water with um, anything you want to use to pack it when you finish cooking it, but. I use calabash and I use uh, a packer that is also wooden. So, and then you also need a plate to pack it into it when you finish. So, while our water is heating, all we need to do is to dissolve our semo. This is the first method to dissolve our semo in cold water. So, once we dissolve it, we'll pour it in the boiling water and then turn it vigorously so that it doesn't make balls, as you can see in the picture, in the video rather. All you need to do is make sure that you turn it quickly so it doesn't make balls and cover it to cook properly. Once it cooks, we need to eventually now get our dry powder and turn it into a so to make a solid food. So that was a pudding. Now we're making a swallow. It's important for the other one to cook. If not, it's going to make a raw food. It's going to give us an uncooked semovita. So once you get the consistency you need, you turn it, you turn it to the thickness you want, and then make sure that there are no balls in it again. Actually, it's quite tedious, but it's important to do that so that we'll enjoy the meal. And then turn every other um, particle of food at the edge of the pot into the main pot. So that you can cover it, let it simmer a bit. Once it simmers, of course, we'll have our cold water close by, and then anything to mold the semovita to a desirable shape. There are different ways to design semo, but this is the easiest. Just mold it in a round container, and you get a neat and round shape out. The second method is pretty straightforward and all you need is hot water and a pot and then you of course sieved semovita. So once you sieve your semovita, this time around you pour the semo directly into the very hot water and turn very fast to avoid it making balls. You're pouring the semo while you're turning it so it doesn't make balls and then once it gets the thickness you want, you do the same thing you did for the first one, cover, cover it. Of course, you will have packed the edges into it just the way I'm doing. And then before you cover it, you add a little extra hot water. It's important to add hot water to just continue the process of cooking. But you can use cold water if you don't have hot water. So now you massage the hot water into the, the already um, turned semo. Remember that you just poured in raw semo vita. So you don't want to eat partially cooked food. So once you massage it in, as you can see, evenly distributed into the pot, what happens is if you cover it, it will cook that raw powder that you've put in and then you have your properly cooked semovita. And then you just do the same thing you did in the first method. You pack it neatly using cold water and a bowl or any turner and then mold it. And then you can design it into any desired shape you want. Semovita is easily molded is easily malleable so you can see now once you mold it once you turn it the second time it's properly cooked so you don't have to um, stress yourself making the first tap like we did in the other method so it just depends on what works for you and then you mold it and put it in the plate it's just simple just simple so you can serve semovita with any soup of your choice, okra, stew, egusi, any soup you like.